All right, guys, so if you guys click on this video, that means you kind of need some help with your portfolio, and I basically got you. I got really awesome tips. I think there are five or six in the video that you're going to really hopefully appreciate. If you guys are beginners, it's going to be really helpful. If you guys are not beginners, it's going to be still helpful. And of course, if you're like, you know, a genius and you don't really need so much help, it's going to be a reminder. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. And uh, some of you guys have not already. I'm having way more videos in the future. Also, comment down things you want to probably possibly see me do, even if it's not educational, entertainment. Let me know. I'm ready for it all. So with that being said, enjoy today's video. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Let's, let's start. All right, guys. So for the first tip for building a portfolio, it's basically having really engaging first impressions. For instance, let's say we jump on a Behance page and look at the thumbnails. Then we notice the actual thumbnails have these dark backgrounds with descriptive words that say Twitter header this, blank revamp project, project this, blah, blah, blah. It actually really hurts your retention rate or how long someone actually stays on the page for very obvious reasons. I mean, it's kind of like telling me, the viewer, immediately that you might not be able to tell a story through art. Now, of course, it might not be the case for everybody, but thumbnails that can engage the audience with actual art from the project or art design specifically for a thumbnail where actually the purpose was to give context of what the viewer will be clicking through. It actually gives the viewers more options to get in scenarios where they can be like, oh, I like this project. I also like this project over here. And it's like you punch the ticket into another project view for showcasing what's inside basically giving guys another chance to impress them. So take notes, no dark backgrounds with the descriptive words on top of them, and more thumbnails with the actual best art piece in your project on Showcase. It's honestly that easy. Up next is actually motion supporting elements. And man, does it make a difference with very, very basic GIF movements or making a networking connection with friends who can actually help with these things. It instantly takes your portfolio to another level above where it started. Granted, this is not necessary, but it does help so much. And if you aren't big on the motion part or have any friends, then maybe you can use this trendy, which is kind of like dying out a little bit, but it's honestly better than nothing. Using the slider to showcase the assets with no CC or manipulation, and then the after showing the actual final piece. I think it's honestly a super great element to add to your portfolios, and it's honestly really easy. All right, guys, so up next is project-directed briefs from thoughts to planning to execution. I honestly cannot tell you guys how important it is to have at least one project that showcases fully how, why, and what you did in order to actually get the end result. Having just projects that showcase the final result is honestly the total opposite of what you want when a client comes knocking your door. And the client's like, yeah, how much do you charge? And you go like $300 for this project and they go, it's out of my budget. And all that you guys have to justify your work is the final result and not how you actually got there. And that how you get there is the actual bridge that your potential client needs to cross. So what's honestly the reason that you guys don't have a brief project? Is it take too long? Are you too lazy? These things honestly paint you in a picture that you don't wanna be in sometimes. So be careful on how you actually present yourself because it's honestly really, really important. So this next one is actually to update your portfolio at least once a month. That also includes projects and pieces that are not up to the standard that you guys do now. There's honestly nothing worse than throwing your portfolio in a client's face or a potential employer, knowing that your only proof is something that you designed five years ago that you don't like anymore. Take yourself serious and put some effort into maintaining your image. It's your image. Don't forget that. And for the last tip in today's video, it's mock-ups, 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 mock-ups. Honestly, it's a challenge in itself if you guys check out popular portfolio sites and like featured projects and to not find mock-ups in use. There is no reason. Your vision cannot be expected to be seen just because you have a logo and a white background. And of course, you guys would know how it looked like everywhere else. However, mock-ups help sell your ideas, not just make it look pretty. They help sell your ideas, so use them. That's all I got. So with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys actually take these tips, use them, and honestly just, the main thing I want to say in today's video is if you guys are designers, especially if you're young ones and whatnot, the, the main purpose of being a designer or main, one of the main things you got to do to be a designer is have discipline on your image. You cannot justify your own prices if you're not maintaining your portfolio. You, of course, cannot get more interaction if you're not maintaining your projects. And you cannot expect someone to understand your vision without mock-ups. So just be vigilant and aware of all these things. And just kind of put them into like your, your daily routine. And hopefully that will help you guys build a really strong portfolio. Get the job you want. Get the client that you want. And just look your best and feel your best. And that's all I got. So with that being said, set some HQ out. We're never going to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. Peace. Of course, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. All that good stuff. And check out some more of my videos. I'm sure you're going to like them. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.